so I've finally fixed everything. I did forget to put in like almost all the screws for the aluminum body. Do not make that mistake. That's kind of stupid. And then I also had to go back and forth cleaning the, the glass and the, the LCD multiple times uh, to make sure that it was clean and there were specs on the inside. So now I've finally gotten that sorted out. I plugged it in, got my uh, the mouse and keyboard. These I actually, we've used with this computer for years. Uh, they were really dirty. I cleaned them up. Um, so now I'm going to see if it turns on. And hopefully it should see the SSD. And if I can get that blanking drive. There it is. Good. So the computer, that means that the computer hopefully is most likely all fully functional, it just needs an operating system. So that is where this comes in. This is a little USB flash drive that I'm going to use and I'm going to put a Mac OS installer on here. I'm going to start with OS X 10.11 El Capitan as I don't think this can run Sierra, sadly. I might try that at some point, but that won't be for this video. It's true that I don't have any photos loaded on here yet, but watch how fast it loads. This is like heaven in comparison. And let's see how fast it takes to load a website. So I'll search apple.com, and there you go. Still loading, but this is a really bad version of. Uh, a really really bad version of Safari. So. so it's been a while. I've actually set it up and things are loaded on here and it's um, properly set up and I just wanted to show you the boot time it actually ends up with uh, once you've set it up with the SSD. So I'm going to turn it off and now that it's off I'm going to let it sit there for just a couple seconds and now I'm going to turn it back on. And you'll see just how fast it is. And that was only around 15 seconds. And the funny thing is, originally when I first booted it up, um, it's probably probably because it was the first time I booted it up. It took about a minute, but this time it only took about, around 15 seconds as you just saw. I didn't speed that up or anything, so that's actually how fast it was. So yeah, it's quite a fast device. So here you can see I've got it all set up. I've installed some apps. I ch I chose to go with Firefox instead of uh, Chrome or Safari because it's a much lighter uh, uh, browser and it runs very well on these old Macs. Um, so, it's not important. I've also installed GarageBand and iMovie. If you've already installed this on a Mac before, you will be able to download an older version. So that's very nice if you have had a Mac before with those apps. So I got that installed. I found an older version of GIMP, but I also want to show you how fast these apps boot up. Now I'm going to do the test again where I open every single app at once, and this time... And you can see they all open up quite quickly. So, uh, you can see the... Oh, here's, uh, you can see the footage for this video. So they all boot super fast. Originally with the hard drive it would take a couple minutes sometimes for the apps to boot. And I would not recommend Chrome at all for this as um, when I uh, when we had it originally on this Mac, iMac, it would take minutes, like almost 10 minutes sometimes to actually launch. So not a good option. I'd say go with Firefox. And also you can see photos runs way way better than it used to. It runs quite well now. Um, it plays these videos 
pretty smoothly. I will say if you're um, reviewing your footage in iMovie, it's not exactly the fastest, but it does get the job done. Overall, it's a, quite a fast device now that I've replaced the hard drive with an SSD, and it can run almost any apps you would really need generally. I wouldn't say it can, I, you can't do any heavy video editing. Um, you have to kind of pace it when you're doing 1080p video editing as it will struggle a teeny bit now and then. You don't want to overload it, but if you just take breaks now and then, it should do pretty well. Um, I found that it's quite sufficient for my needs so far. It can't do any 3D work like in Blender, it struggles a lot with that. Um, although you can if you really want, if you have like better system specs, and, but you're still limited to um, the OS X El Capitan, you could still install um, two, Blender 2.8 on here, so it doesn't run well on this device.